Hello everyone, this will be the video for Thursday, December 1st, 2022. In this video, I'm going to talk about the master time factor. Uh, the master time factor is not what most people think it is. Actually, Gann used the term master time factor in a few different ways and actually had more than one. There is a master time factor, so if you think about what a factor is, that's one way to look at it. And then he also had a cycle that he called the master time factor. Now, Gann has put uh, the information in his books. So the cycles are in the tunnel through the air. Uh, at least that's where I found the ones that I'm familiar with or aware of. Um, and he gave a lot of them names, uh, like the Saint Marie, Marie the Angel of Mercy, um, the Lone Aviator, and so on. Uh, one of our subscribers, Callum, made a post on the video where I did the cycle uh, yesterday, and he said that he found uh, Marie the Angel of Mercy cycle in a Bob Dylan song, which I don't doubt one bit because I know that esoteric information is coded in modern music and in Hollywood in movies and TV. So it is possible to find some of these things. They're put subtly in those various media. Uh, another good place to look for cycles is right where Gan told you to look in the Bible. And the two best places to look for cycles of repetition in the Bible are in Ezekiel and Daniel. So if you want to go on a little cycle hunt, it's probably a good place to begin. Anyhow, I'm going to talk about the master time factor. I'm going to show you four different markets. I'm going to show you the points I'm projecting, which are on the left, and the points that I've projected to, which are on the right. So the first green arrow on the lower left is a low, significant low. It's also a significant low on the right. The secondary higher low is this low on the left and this low on the right. And last but not least, this major high is this initial major high, which came in in front of a three month down move before it went and made a higher high. Now, all the charts I'm going to be putting up here are monthly. This is wheat. I'm going to show you three grain markets and cotton. This next pair of charts is the cotton market. The points that I'm projecting from are on the left. The projection points are on the right. Again, these are all going to be monthly charts. So I'm projecting two lows from the left. Uh, the first one became a high. A lot of times they'll go low to low, high to high, but occasionally you'll get an inverted result. Either way, it's going to be a significant pivot that will usually put you in front of a multi-month move. Now that you'll see that the green arrow I have on the right is still into the future. That was either March or April of 23 for a significant high or low in cotton. Now on this particular chart we are looking at the soybean market. So I've picked two lows to project forward in soybeans, the two lows on the left hand chart shot, and then that projected out and became two lows on the right hand side. Very significant pivot points for multi-month trades. One more set of charts, let's take a look at the corn market. In this particular market I'm going to give you five projections and what I've done looking at the chart on the left the vertical lines 
are the swing highs and lows I'm projecting and I'm showing the projections of those five pivots on the right. So you can see on the first vertical line on the left hand chart we have the uh, a one month spike high. We have a one month little spike low. Just wanted to show you how some of these may look when projected forward. So, so that little spike high gave us a significant high on this chart to the right. The little minor low gave us a significant pivot in the future cycle. The third one was a little bit more of a significant low and that one actually gave us a high so we got an inversion on that one. Actually the last three were inverted then the uh, fourth pivot was this high and then the last one was this low and they actually inverted it became a low and a high. Anyway <clears throat> there you are that's a look at the master time factor remember to uh, hunt these cycles you want to pay particular attention to uh, Ezekiel and Daniel in the Bible and you will also want to look carefully at all of Gann's various airplanes.